What's going on Diablo Kings and Queens? So I've just been in the PTR for a few hours testing out the Holy Fire Auradin. And if you haven't already heard, it's absolutely bonkers. So I just wanted to make a quick video showcasing the build and just running through a bunch of areas watching everything disintegrate. I hope you enjoy it, let's go. Alrighty, first up, the skill tree. I've gone max resist fire, max resist lightning, and max salvation. The offensive auras, I've just got max conviction. And then that's pretty much the build. I've just chucked a point into charge and to zeal but you know everything's pretty much dying before you even get to it now for the build which is i'm running a pure fire setup it's a uh, hand of justice dragon dragon and flickering flame and then on my act 3 mercenary i'm running dream and dream now you can change this out like this and run like a more hybrid setup but i do really just enjoy running the full fire setup. The damage is just crazy. Alrighty, so let's go check out how fast it clears some zones. I'll throw on the timer when I'm doing it so we can, you know, somewhat gauge it. And let's start with some cows because everyone loves some cows. Alrighty, let's check out these cows. So satisfying. Let me know what you guys reckon. Yeah, as you can see, it absolutely decimates the cows. It's crazy. Crazy. It's going to be uh, interesting to see what happens with this build, but I guess it is fairly expensive. So, you know, I don't know. It's just, it's just so strong, though. Alrighty, Weldstone Keep. Let's see how we go in here. Oh, so good. Souls just blowing up. This poison. Let me just get rid of this poison. Yeah. Watching those souls just die. Beautiful. But they've caused all of us enough grief before. Yeah. Um insanely fast and the fact that you know, things are kind of just dying before you even get there alrighty and for the last area that I'm going to test out let's hop into the pit and see how we go I have no doubts that it's just going to disintegrate like everything else care of those fire immunes with the Merc. Hey, cheeky lamb. That layout was pretty big, but you know, we still got through it pretty quick and everything then kind of blows up. <laughs> it's oddly satisfying. I'm not sure if you guys have played a build like this before, you know how much fun it is. Anyway guys, that's all I wanted to show you. Just running around, watching stuff die, having a bit of fun. 
Let me know your thoughts on this build and if you'd consider playing something like this in patch 2.4 or if you've had fun with our Auradin build uh, previously. You know, let me know in the comments. And yeah, hope you're all doing well. But anyway, enjoy the rest of your day. Catch you later.